Uh, Brent Madison says, I see Trick or Treat 1986 4K on sale today. What a fun movie with Ozzy and Gene Simmons. Small role, Synapse Films. <laughs> fan of the film? Oh, oh, hell yeah, I'm a fan of it. That's one of my all-time favorite horror films. I, Guys, um, you know what? You, you teed me right up. You, Synapse launches surprise pre-order for Trick or Treat. Uh, limited special. Are you gonna are you guys gonna be able to read this? Hold on. I I'm not gonna read the whole thing. I'll just kind of paraphrase here. But basically, you know, there's been this um, news of trick or treat, and I don't think they ever posted an actual day on when it was coming out. But trick or treat's always been one of my my. I, I reviewed that movie like 2016, somewhere around there, and um, I remember renting it on VHS back in uh 80 i think it came on vhs in 87 it came out in 86 in theaters i did not go see it in theaters but i remember loving it instantly when i saw it on vhs and i think still to this day it's one of the most unique freaking horror movies out there and it doesn't hurt that you know it revolves around heavy metal the i guess the taboo parts of heavy metal from the 80s with the the the, uh, the satanism and all that stuff but I think the movie delivers it in a really fun fashion. And, you know, the the legend of Sammy Kerr. Uh, the guy that played Sammy Kerr was so freaking good. Um, Tony, I'm trying to remember his last name. But, yeah. So, here's what the... Um, uh, Jamie Hart saw Trick or Treat in the theater. Nice, nice. It's such a great movie. It, it really is. And I think it deals with bullying... You know, because Mark Price plays this young high school kid. And I think I was I was kind of that kid. I was the metalhead in high school. I wasn't bullied or anything like that. But, you know, we kind of stayed in our lane, right? Our little group. And then you had the jocks. And um, I, I got along with everybody when I was in high school. But I was definitely part of the metalheads. And I remember when, like, And Justice For All came out by Metallica. And we were all, like, going gaga over that album. And um, yeah, and, and and trick or treat, man. That that was just such a fun freaking movie. They uh, surprised everybody with dropping the pre order today. It happened. So here is what the uh, the covers look like. Did anybody get a pre order in on this? Because if you did, then you are lucky. This, yeah, that's what the the artwork looks like. So yeah, it went on pre order today. Um, I was able to get. Like, they went. They sold out at least on both of the main sites except for synapse um now you guys can let me know maybe synapse still has some uh, available uh but man these things sold out so freaking quick and i think part of the reason for that is because i think this is the first um is this the first like because there's sort of a bootleg that you can find on uh ebay i actually have it if I do a quick look, do I see it right here? I'm not going to go digging through my, because that'll take too long. But I do have the, give me a second. What do we do? I, I can, hold on. Let me see if I got it. Luckily, I have a shelf that is just like Halloween, October, you know, October type movies. And um, <laughs> that's not it. <laughs> uh, it is this right here. Okay. Uh, and this, I don't, this is not an official release. And if I look at the back of the, yeah, yeah. You can tell that's a burned disc. So, uh, somebody used to sell these on eBay, and they're about to go down in value quite a bit um, because now it's they have an official release. There was an official German media book years ago that I actually did buy, and I think I dropped like 50 bucks on that thing. And that was back, God, probably a, over a decade ago. And my opinion, it looked horrible. It, it did not look good at all. Um, but... From what I'm reading here, and I guess I can show you this. We'll look at the special features real quick. Because there's one thing, there's a couple things that really jumped out at me. Uh, but man, that, that box, I got the middle one. That was the last one available, but luckily that's my favorite one. Uh, the middle artwork. Limited edition contains this region-free three-disc set, 4K, Blu-ray, CD soundtrack album, which is one of the greatest freaking rock soundtrack albums ever uh headbanging special features include a 4k restoration from the original 35 millimeter camera negative i think this is a first don't i, I could be wrong but 
I think this is a first. So this this transfer is going to look amazing. Uh, it's a scan from the 35 millimeter negative, and boy, that does that have me excited because uh, I I think. I don't know what the source was for like the German release, but it didn't look good and it didn't sound that great at all. Um, you get lossless English DTS HD master audio. You get uh, commentary by director Charles Martin Smith. Um, you get audio interviews with writer producer Michael S. Murphy uh, and writer Rhett Tofum. Uh, audio conversation with Paul uh, Korup. Uh, yeah, and here, here you go. Rock and Shock, The Making of Trick or Treat, an all-new retrospective featuring director Charles Martin Smith. Actors Mark Price, which Mark Price kind of went into hiding. I haven't seen him in ages, so it's going to be really cool to see him. Uh, Glenn Morgan, now if you guys don't know, Glenn Morgan had quite the career in Hollywood, and he directed the 2006 Black Christmas remake. And he stated that if that movie didn't, work then he wasn't going to direct again and he didn't and uh you know the movie bombed it was released i think on christmas day and um i wish he would come back and direct again because i loved his approach to that movie his you know his style of direction i thought thought it was great but he's actually in the movie trick-or-treat he's a teenager in the movie in the spotlight a tribute to tony fields who played sammy kerr interviews with the late actors family and friends you got Sean Clark's Horrors, Horrors Hollowed Grounds after Midnight Music Video. So, yeah. Man, this is going to be a good set. I have a feeling if you really want it, guys, and it's sold out, I think it'll come back. I think he's got to be patient. You know, I think they were testing the waters. But if I had to put money on it, I bet I bet it'll uh, pop up again for pre-order. Brent Madison says, they said only 2,000 of each cover would be released. Super limited, crazy fast seller. Yeah, kind of reminds me of the old days of Twilight Time. When they, you know, when they were those those Twilight Time movies, they would only have like 3,000 and they would sell out like instantly. Uh, it was 66 bucks, you know. I had to like squint when I hit the, the buy button, you know, it was 66 bucks. But uh if a movie like that to me is a no-brainer if i got the money i'm gonna i'm gonna get it because it's gonna hold its value i mean pretty much most physical media is holding its value especially horror these days anyway just because uh streaming's kind of taking over yeah stream, uh, physical media will always be there uh but it's becoming more and more niche